Today we celebrate St. Terribius of Mogrevejo. Catholics in Latin America and throughout the world are celebrating his life. The 16th century bishop upheld the rights of Peru's indigenous people and became one of the first canonized saints of the Americas. He was born in Spain in 1538, prayed frequently, fasted, and gave to the poor even as a child, and developed the habit of praying the rosary daily, along with a little office of the Blessed Mother. He went on to study law at the University of Salamanca and served as a judge for five years in Granada. His judicial wisdom and diligence drew the attention of King Philip II, who wanted him, he was still a layman, to be consecrated as a missionary archbishop for the Spanish colony of Peru. Therebius became greatly dismayed, protesting to the king and church authorities that he was not even a priest and could not possibly accept the charge. In a series of letters, he pled that he was not personally capable of serving as the Archbishop of Lima. Nor, he reminded them, did canon law permit a layman to become an Archbishop. Eventually, however, he had little choice but to comply. He was consecrated as Bishop at 1581 at the age of 43 and left for Lima, Peru. He undertook to travel throughout the rugged and mountainous diocese where he observed many of the worst effects of colonialism both upon the enslaved and oppressed natives, and on many of the colonists who seemed to have lost their souls in pursuit of wealth. He responded with constant prayer and penance as he traveled throughout the territory, administering the sacraments, teaching the faith, and establishing schools, seminaries, and hospitals. To the indigenous Peruvians, he was a herald of the gospel, who held their lives as more precious than their country's supplies of gold and silver. But to the many colonists whose behavior showed no sign of their Catholic origins, he was a prophetic scourge whose efforts to awaken the public conscience earned him rebukes and opposition. He ultimately managed to make three visitations of his diocese under rugged and dangerous conditions, which occupied about half of his 25 years as Archbishop of Lima. He united the Peruvian church at an administrative level by holding several local councils of his clergy, but was also known to spend days traveling to reach a single individual with the message of Christ. He then became seriously ill in 1606. He sensed that his death was imminent and decreed that his possessions should be given to the poor. He died on March 23rd, and his body was found to be incorrupt the next year. He was declared a saint in 1726 and is now regarded as the patron of native people's rights and Latin American bishops. Oh, there you go, Terubius de Mogravejo. Didn't even want to become a priest or a bishop and became both. And because he was obedient, he served faithfully. How about, huh? Not to be said for being obedient. Mm -mm.